Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the algorithm for the derivation of minimum variance un unbiased estimator from the sufficiency condition. That is, we will look at the derivation of uh, the optimal estimator from the sufficient statistic. So, consider a linear model x of n is equal to dc level a plus w of n where n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and w of n follows a Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and variance equal to sigma square. So we want to find an estimator a hat from the sufficient statistic t of x. So the algorithm can be summarized as follows. That is the step 1 is we have to find a arbitrary estimator a tilde which is unbiased. That is expectation of a tilde minus a the true value should be equal to 0. The second step is we have to find the statistic t of x the sufficient statistic t of x. This can be accomplished by using the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem. And the final step, that is the third and final step, is find the conditional expectation of a tilde that is unbiased estimator a tilde given the sufficient statistic t of x and this conditional expectation will be the optimal estimator that is it will be the minimum variance unbiased estimator. So for the model x of n equal to a plus w of n that is to find the dc level we can easily find the find an arbitrary unbiased estimator for example a tilde as one of the measurements say x of 0. Clearly this estimator a tilde is unbiased since the expectation of a tilde is equal to a because the observations follow a Gaussian distribution with mean a and variance equal to sigma square. So the step 1 is complete. Now we have to find the statistic t of x. So by using the Neyman Fisher factorization that is we basically have to look at the probability distribution of the vector of observations that is which is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square multiplied by the sum of sum from n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus a whole square. And now we can easily rewrite this exponential as 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square into n a square that is this a square term and then we have plus 1 by 2 sigma square 2 times a times the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n and then we have exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. So clearly this is g of t of x comma the parameter a and this is equal to h of x. The Neyman Fisher factorization theorem is satisfied and we have t of x equal to the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n is a sufficient statistic. So the step 2 is also complete. We have a sufficient statistic t of x which is basically the sum of observations. Now the third step is we have to find expectation of a tilde given the sufficient statistic t of x. 
here since we assume that a tilde is equal to one of the observations x of 0 so it is equal to expectation of x of 0 given t of x in order to determine this conditional expectation we need to know the conditional probability distribution p of x of 0 given t of x however in this model since we know that x of 0 follows a gaussian distribution with mean a and variance equal to sigma square and t of x also follows a gaussian distribution since it is a since it is a linear combination of observations that are derived from a gaussian distribution t of x also follows a gaussian distribution with mean equal to expectation of t of x and variance of t of x expectation of t of x is equal to expectation of the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n which is clearly equal to n times a and the variance of t of x is equal to variance of n times the sample mean x bar which is equal to n square times variance of the sample mean and we know that the variance of sample mean is equal to sigma square by n so this should be equal to n times sigma square therefore the uh, statistic t of x follows a gaussian distribution with mean equal to n into a and variance equal to n into n into sigma square so since both the variables a a tilde that is x of 0 and t of x follow their own gaussian distributions we can use the following lemma which is that is for a gaussian vector which has two components x and y that are jointly gaussian then the conditional expectation e of x given y expectation of x given y the conditional expectation is given by the prior mean that is expectation of x plus the ratio of covariance of x comma y with sigma square y that is the variance of y multiplied by the difference between y and expectation of y so this expression gives the conditional expectation of x given y so by equating x to x of 0 that is our initial estimator initial unbiased estimator and y to the statistic t of x we can derive the conditional expectation of the unbiased estimator given the statistic t of x as expectation of x of 0 plus the ratio the covariance of x of 0 and the statistic t of x divided by variance of t of x multiplied by t of x minus expectation of t of x so most of the terms in this expression are known except the covariance term which is equal to covariance of x of 0 comma t of x is equal to expectation of x of 0 multiplied by t of x that is the correlation minus the product of x of z the expectation of x of 0 with the expectation of t of x that is the difference between the correlation and the product of means is by definition the covariance so now we need to find the correlation which is expectation of x of 0 multiplied by t of x this is clearly equal to expectation of x of 0 multiplied by the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n and since x of n is equal to a plus w of n and w of n is assumed to be taken from a Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square so since x of n are uncorrelated with the other observations this expectation should be equal to the correlation should be equal to x of 0 into x of 0 that is for the first observation it is the correlation and for the second observation onwards it should be expectation of x of 0 multiplied by the sum n equal to 1 to n minus 1 expectation of x of n that is these observations are basically independent of each other and so for n equal to 1 and so on x of 0 is independent of the rest of the observations so we can rewrite the expression as for this product 
So this is equal to an expectation of x square of 0 is clearly equal to sigma square plus a square and this should be equal to a times n minus 1 into a which is n minus 1 into a. So this is equal to sigma square plus n a square. Now by using the definition of the covariance we can write that the covariance between x of 0 and the statistic t of x is equal to sigma square plus n into a square minus the product of the means which is a into n into a which is clearly equal to sigma square. Therefore, the conditional expectation x of 0 given the statistic t of x is equal to the expectation of x of 0 which is clearly equal to a plus the covariance sigma square divided by the variance of t of x which is derived to be n into sigma square it is n into sigma square multiplied by the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus its mean which is n into a. Upon simplification this is equal to 1 by n the sum n equal to 0 to n minus x of n. Since this a cancels with this a therefore the optimal estimator a hat is equal to 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n is also the maximum likelihood estimate. So this is the MV, MVU that is minimum variance unbiased estimator derived from the sufficient statistic. Thanks for watching.